round out your starters here for Annex Legend Car Racing. Chevrolet Impala Pace Car takes the hard left hand turn for Green Flag Racing and that was. Looks like Justin Mitchell is going to have the road, but here comes Austin Thompson. I'm glad we don't have everybody mic'd up in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> so that completes lap number one. And we talked about it. Austin Thompson to the lead. Justin Mitchell back to second. Then it's that B1 machine. Brent Irving in third. Transponder apparently not working for him, but it is in that third spot. Trevor Packer and Courtney battling it out that fourth spot, and Evans got some smoke coming out of that machine. Mm -hmm. And Thumper wants that fifth spot away from Courtney. Caleb Dale looks on for that battle as well. Really tight competition here, and as fast as these machines are going, and then you have this big four-tenths of a track. Oh, my goodness. It's just uh, very cool to watch one of my favorite divisions in all of short track racing. They're cooking the line now. It's some of the time phase. Going as fast as our charger cars. Austin Thompson. Nice run so far. Justin Mitchell just trying to click pace. Trevor Packer takes that third spot away from Ben Irving. And Alan Crumper fell out there as well. So Irving back to fourth, Caleb Bell is in sixth, and he wants that fifth spot away from Irving, puts the bumper bar to the rear bumper bar, and Irving moves that bell around up the last track a little bit. And something really happened when I had bell around, some major smoke coming out of that legend car. Really is coming, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that as uh the man that we've been talking about, the young man, Dustin Thompson. That number two machine, like you said, uh, look out for him and uh, the future when it comes to short track races. Yeah, and maybe big track races. He's really good at this style of racing. In fact, we have, uh, I, 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 I forgot about the Saturday and Sunday combo of the 17th and 18th. Forgive me for that, and that's the next time you'll see. We've got two Legends races, Heat Race 1 and 2, coming up on October 17th, Kevin. Well, that's a special day uh, for Legend Car Racing. We will have an absolute ton of Legend Cars here for that. As the six car of Meredith Kepler goes to lap down. I beg your pardon, October 4th. We will have them back on the 4th. I misread that. So the 4th and then 17th and 18th. Halfway out of the river, those legends are flying around here with Austin Thompson, the leader, Justin Mitchell, second, Trevor Thacker is third, Aaron Crumpler is fourth, Caleb Day is fifth, then sixth is Eric Courtney, seventh is Chase Singletary, eighth will be, looks like Jerome Frank in that 84 car. Different driver in the 84 is coming on, and one of that car was inside of that car was Victory Lane for Buddy Racing not too long ago here at the park. As the late night of stock cars get set and ready to go to Rush Hour, this race is out with our Austin Thompson. Justin Mitchell got the jump on Austin, but Austin had quickly got back around Justin. And what that did on that car, Blake gets around Aaron Crumpler for that fourth spot. As these legend cars are getting this race done and in a hurry. Still Austin Thompson by about 15 car lengths over Justin Mitchell. Trevor Packer, Caleb Day, Aaron Crumpler, Eric Courtney. Chase Singletary who was involved in that practice for that this team did a great job just to get that car out there. Nice Jerome Frank and the little Thurman. A little Blake Sasser in the 72 of Paul Kennedy. Don't forget that little two machine, Ryan Demartini.
as Austin Thompson comes around once again. Well, this race has gone by very fast, hasn't it, Kevin? There's a spin on the back shoulder while Carson Flag is out. Oh, my goodness. And is Meredith Kepler is sitting sideways on the racetrack. She was also the one that spun out in practice and got tangled up with Chase Singletary. That left-hand turn shove in Paula Pace car. Thompson, Cogden. Wayne Flag is on the rear. Looks like some guys got some little starts back there. Didn't worry, that was a throw. <laughs> But the 84 car, Jerome Frank, got a running start that time. So did the Royal Tour, Ryan Demartini, but Demartini didn't do anything in his. Two laps to go, Carol Bird couldn't do anything on the outside. Put the side back on the third behind Justin Mitchell. And Kepler gets wrapped up a little bit from that 16 of Blake Sasser. Sasser still dogging Kepler. Oh, he had contact between the double zero and the 16. Caution is out, Singletary is involved, and that was a whole so line of missing contact. First time, Eric Blake Sasser, outside of the second round. All right, Shepard, here we go. Austin Thompson again, grabs that goal, no problem. Mitchell will follow a throw for second, down back to third. And here goes Justin Mitchell. Thompson was really hard to stay for turn two. Really had a little bit of help. Right flag in the middle, one more time around Justin Mitchell, Caleb Bell, then Austin Thompson. Austin, oh, over the back bumper of Caleb Bell. Here he comes, who wants that second spot back away from Caleb Day? Caleb will race him hard down into turn three, just nothing with the more on that top side. But Justin Mitchell steals one away from Austin Thompson. Justin Mitchell led all but two laps. And the last two laps, the only ones he led, that's the only ones that count. Justin Mitchell takes it home from Austin Thompson and Caleb Day.